Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are officially finishing up this laundry room makeover. I just wanted to do a quick little recap of what we've done in here so far, but if you've missed the first three videos, make sure you go check those out. We still have tons to do in this room, so let's go ahead and get started. We are starting off by adding this brass hardware to the shelf that's going to go above the bench. Here's a tip if you are a perfectionist like me, I did not want to drive myself crazy so I used two pieces of scrap wood just to get like perfectly uniform spacing and it totally worked. couple things left to do in this room. We have to put in the top of the bench right there and then also I want to put in a shelf behind the washer and dryer like right above it right there so to put things like the Tide Pods and stuff like that on. So those are a couple things that I want to get done today. But you ain't gazing on someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now but you gotta... I have cut down just some scrap wood that I'm gonna put back here as a support underneath the shelf and some little pieces for that side but I need to mark on them on the support pieces where the studs are so I can drill some holes into them. until like right here on this wall so I don't have I'm not gonna be able to put any supports into studs so I screwed these two pieces together so when they go like this there'll be a little bit support over there without having to screw into the wall To give the shelf some extra support, I did end up putting some screws in the cabinet that connect right there. And then I did put an extra one in here. It's not into a stud, but hopefully it helps just to keep that part from moving.
paint that I had from the kitchen renovation. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But there's only one problem. I forgot how much I hate this paint. So we're just gonna let this dry and pretend like it's just a primer coat. We're gonna go with a grayable gray because it never lets us down. Okay, so the boards that we stained came out darker than the floors, which I knew that they would. But the floors have like um, like a grayish, whitish overlay on them. So that's what we're gonna do to these boards to see if we can get them to match the floor a little bit better. Just layer stains until you get the look that you want. gray than I wanted, so I'm just going to take some mineral spirits and wipe some of it off. being this door I just feel like it's too much I'm gonna have a rug in here it's just distracting um, and not that it's like too busy or an ugly color or anything it just I think I'm gonna paint it back white which I'm not upset about because it needed to be painted anyway but I think it I want all this to be the focal point but change number two so when I went to install the board back there, I realized that the board was, see that it's like warped a little bit and it was driving me crazy. So I got a different board and I think we're gonna switch up how we put the board back above the washer and dryer and I think this is gonna work a little bit better. So I'm keeping all this in and telling you to show that like Things aren't always going to go, you know, but things are never going to go as planned when you're doing things yourself and you just have to like go with the flow and roll with it that you make changes along the way and that it's fine and it'll all end up okay, but don't panic when things don't go perfectly.
that is a wrap on today's video and a wrap on this laundry room project. Make sure that you're subscribed because you don't want to miss next week's video. We'll be working in a different room. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time.